Welcome back. Let's continue telling the story around rains in the Eastern Cape. Downpours still lashing through Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. Residents have been left without power and their homes are filled with water. In fact, our reporter Kim Daniels has this update from Motherwell. As you can see by the rain on my glasses, it's coming down quite a bit. But we are currently standing um, on Edda Road here in uh, Motherwell. And this is one of the main roads, you know, where these manganese trucks pick up the manganese and take it onto the N2 and obviously transport it um, to where they need to be. And as you can see right behind me, there's a truck um, that is stuck under this bridge. It's stuck in the water. Um, there is a tow truck here to try and pull it out, but they've been here for a couple of hours. And I mean, it's actually the situation is really bad we saw earlier as well a truck tried to come into our lane where we currently standing and try to get through this way he couldn't make it he had to reverse so uh, the situation in the Nelson Mandela Bay is quite dire uh, many schools are closed clinics are closed we got a notification now from uh, the municipality also saying that all driving center testing centers rather are also closed we have colleagues that are currently rather um, in Karika and you know the situation I think that's tiny little industrial Industrial town bore the brunt, you know, of these heavy, heavy rains. Uh, the areas that were also affected by floods in June, I mean, not even four months ago, uh, Lapland, Jubilee Park, those areas are really affected once again. The water that runs through that canal has come up, flooded homes. We've gotten reports of tombstones from local cemeteries in that area washing away into people's homes. Roads are closed. Um, a lot of kids can't get to schools. And I'm telling you, I've been driving around NMB for the past hour, maybe two hours and I haven't seen a single taxi on the road. So as you can imagine, not a lot of people made it to work. There are some reports even from auto automotive um, factories that have only five people showed up for their shift. Um, so if things are quite bad. Yeah, we have been watching um, this action here behind us for a while. We saw the driver get out of the truck, come to the front of the truck, see if he can reverse, move around and you're not just trying to get out of this rut that is in, but it really seems there is no way. It seems that they have now connected the truck to the tow truck. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to pull him out soon. We will be driving around Kobecha, driving around Karicha and other surrounding areas of the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro just to, you know, check um, the damage this uh, excessive rain has caused. Um, most of these people on the ground are saying that it's been four months since the past flood. They're still trying to recover. So these excessive rains are a major setback for them. Um, they are devastated. They are scared. Um, all the possessions that they once lost and regained on now lost again so i mean it is quite a sad story um the, the excessive rains that have been happening within the nelson mandela uh, nelson mandela bay metro area but for now it's back to you in studio